Well, younger students are also testing the limits of what's possible, and they're doing it with Legos. More than 100,000 children between 9 and 14 are part of a worldwide first Lego league designed to get kids excited about science and then technology. R. Keith Smith has more on how things stacked up at Oklahoma's Lego competition. Drivers, are you ready? Yes, sir. Rest. It's just electric. And Coach Candace Townsley couldn't pass up the challenge. You get in here and there's kids running around and trying to get everything together and last minute mutations on their robot. The boys are building this morning while the girls, including Maggie Chipman, scout things out. It's really exciting. It's like really the worst part of it, I think, is waiting because you always are nervous. We wore our jerseys before we came out here, and they were like, well, why are we doing that? And I'm like, it's kind of like the football players wearing their jerseys before game day. Go get a weight out of the box. They are flexing their mental muscles. What started out a toy has now become a learning experience, and they don't even realize it. Chris Griffin helps with the legwork for the Lego they start out just overwhelmed when the challenge is released when they see all the pieces they're just covered in panic it's a game of strategy thinking on your feet get this bar it needs to be up though things don't always go as you plan them just ask one of the referees Brett Breedla You've got two and a half minutes. You've got a, a robot with multiple attachments that you're putting on the front of it. And as one of the master builders, Audrey Matheny, points out, it's more than just a learning experience. It's a competition. Hopefully we beat them. Months of work rolled into two and a half minutes. It's been really fun. It's been really fun to see what uh, what the other robots do and how they built them, how what their programs are like. A lot of kids can they can sit and they can listen all day long to a lecture and not get as much out of it as actually getting in there with their hands, taking those pieces, putting them together. What's the best way to pull something? to move something, to pick up something. The programming of the robot has been phenomenal knowledge. They're actually being able to see how things relate, how they interconnect, and how this, how this idea meets with this reality. The great H peg needs to be installed, right? And reshaping reality with brilliant minds and a bunch of Legos. I remember playing with Legos as a kid, so yeah, this is this is pretty this is pretty interesting what they can do with Legos. None of my Legos would run around the course like this would. Coach Jack Lyons has helped with the technical stuff. It's playing with toys that they know already, uh, but using it in ways that they hadn't dreamed of before. And along the way and into the afternoon, an education in Lego League lingo. Right now, we're trying to build an end defector to scoop up the polar bear. You give him a task, and you can just see the gears spinning in his head, and, and he goes, okay, I, I know what I need to do. Light bulbs start, start turning on, and they start piecing things together, and they start making these connections, and as they do, the joy just lights them up. I can do this. I can. No matter what anybody says, I can really do this. An attitude that would be good enough for the girls to take first and to discover at the end of the day a process that may be far more important than winning. It kind of empowers you a little to see your robot complete something. You just get that, yes, it's finally done. You know, I accomplished this. It pieces everything together. And the kids, the kids just grow and they, they bloom. For kids to to get hands-on experience with math, science, and engineering. Um, this is just invaluable. Trial and error, ending in perfection. And for a web exclusive conversation on efforts to attract more females into the STEM fields, just visit our website at okrising.com and click on this week's value added.